Trinidad and Tobago is the land of the Calypso, the land of the steel band, the land of the limbo. All originated here. These and the folklore dance presentations add to the visitor's enjoyment. There are other traditions, and some of them are religious, like the Hussein festival of Islamic origin. It is marked by colorful processions, drum beating, and a ceremonial byplay. Our most famous traditional festival is Carnival, celebrated annually on the two days before Ash Wednesday. Originating in Spanish times, it has no resemblance to European or other carnivals. Among its distinguishing features are color, costume presentation and spontaneity inspired by our two unique art forms, the steel band and the calypso. Calypsonian has ranked our carnival among the wonders of the world. Indeed, he says, the greatest wonder of them all is the Trinidad Carnival. That was a quick glimpse at our everyday life in Trinidad and Tobago. But on the 31st of August 1962, there occurred the most significant event in our history, the attainment of independence. Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, came as the official representative of Her Majesty the Queen to the independence celebrations of Trinidad and Tobago. It was on a wet afternoon that the princess was welcomed by the Governor General, Sir Solomon Ho Choi, and Lady Ho Choi, the Prime Minister, and other dignitaries. The Trinidad and Tobago Regiment land arm of our defense force made its first public appearance mounting the Royal Guard of Honor.
After the inspection, the Prime Minister, Dr. Eric Williams, extended a welcome on behalf of the government, the parliament, and the people, who regarded Her Highness's visit on such an historic and auspicious occasion as a reflection of Her Majesty's esteem of our people. The Princess replied that while this was not her first visit, she was most appreciative of the welcome extended to her. And then she was off to perform her first official engagement, the formal opening of the new multi-million dollar airport terminal building. On the following day, Her Royal Highness, accompanied by the Governor General, the Prime Minister and the party, attends a mammoth youth rally at the Queen's Park Oval. This is indeed one of the highlights of the independence celebrations. Not even the inclement weather could dampen the enthusiasm of the many thousands of school children who have come from every quarter to give a rousing welcome to the distinguished visitor. The rally began with the parade of the many youth groups, Her Royal Highness taking the salute. Later, one of the more interesting items on the program seems to capture the fancy of the princess. This is the Horopo, one of our traditional dances of Spanish origin. Now the ballet, which is of French origin. 